club. <laughs> Can't tell you the number of time I, times I've used that line. Not when you parallel park, that's for sure. <laughs> that's so true. Horrible parallel parking. Howdy, folks. We're going back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for another February favorite. Oh, yeah. Uh, what are we watching? Ace Ventura. All righty, then. <laughs> Pet Detective. All right. Everyone's favorite Pet Detective. Yes. Yep. I mean, there's only really one Pet Detective, so. Yeah, he's a pet dick. Okay. Awkward. That's what they call him. Okay, yeah. If you say so. Well, why is this your favorite? One of your favorite movies? One of my favorite movies because it's so quotable. Okay. It makes me laugh really hard. Yeah. I am a sucker for physical comedy, as mm. most of you know, and this one has great physical comedy in it. And it stars your favorite friend. Courtney Cox. Oh, yeah, Courtney Cox. That's right. I was like, Snowflake? Uh. <laughs> Snowflake? <laughs> I don't know what kind of friend you're talking about. <laughs> Are you friends with the dolphin? Do you know him? <laughs> Do you call him at home? All right, well, shoot you. Do you have a door, dolphin? Settle Sorry. down. We'll get to it. Simmer down. We're going to get to it. Well, should we jump in and see if Ace can solve the case? Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us for one of the greatest movies around. Yeah, Ace Ventura. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full commentary, or access to polls, help us pick or watch next. Links down there. Check it out. We also have social media, so if you're into it, follow us. If you're not into it, ignore yeah, that. Ignore it all. Let's watch Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Here we go. Looks <laughs> a lot like the box that your your television came in last year. <laughs> Yeah. I was surprised it still worked. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think's in that? Glass. <laughs> this is like uh, Jim Carrey at his finest, you mm. know? Middle of the 90s was best Jim Carrey. Yeah. Capping it off with Cable Guy. <laughs> Sounds broken. Most likely, sir. I'll bet it was something nice, though. <laughs> That's a lovely dog you have there, sir. Do you mind if I pet him? I don't give a rat's ass. Oh. Ooh, you boo. Ooh, you boo boo doo doo. Zoo boo boo doo doo. Ooh boo boo doo. -boo -doo, -doo. <laughs> the rest, you just have yourself a good day. Take care now. Bye bye then. <laughs> Take care now. Bye bye then. Who's a boo boo? How do he hates it when I talk to him like that? Yeah, he responds more to your singing. Yeah, he likes singing. What's the matter with you? I said get. What I have never understood is how this guy catches up with him and finds him because it seems like he parks like pretty far away. It gets flooded. We'll just wait a few seconds. Or well, we can try it now. They must have put, like, peanut butter in between her boobs, right? I always like when you do. <laughs> Gross. Thank you, Mr. Venter. Boy. How can I ever repay you? Well, the reward would be good. There is some damage to my car. It's a high-performance machine, so I had to fill it with premium. Would you like for me to take your pants off instead? Gee, let me think. Um, sure. It's not going to pay the bills, but... <laughs> <laughs> now he doesn't have to pay for that. 
We're real friendly around here. <laughs> A dolphin knew something was up, put up a fight. I think he lives up the street from Dexter. Probably. Yeah. His apartment look does look cool. It's like kind of art deco. <laughs> oh, he's got a pile of them sitting there. Ventura. Yes, Satan. <laughs> I heard animals in there, Ventura. I heard them again this morning, scratching around. I never bring my work home with me, sir. Oh yeah. What's all this pet food for? He's got to keep it in his car. Fiber. <laughs> Fiber. <laughs> Just don't let me catch you with an animal in here. That's all. All right. Take care now. <laughs> bye bye then. <laughs> I got the skunks in the dirty clothes. <laughs> Come to me, jungle friends. You've got a trash panda. <laughs> Monkey Spike is a main character in the cartoon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All I give a damn about is winning the Super Bowl. My athletes have got to have their heads in the right place. You know how superstitious these players are. You got a linebacker that has not washed his jockey strap in two years because he thinks flies are lucky. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> tell you, when I lost my cuddles, I hired a pet detective. A what? A pet detective. Pet detection is a very involved, highly scientific process. <laughs> I don't know if we have any local pet detectives. I've never heard of a pet detective apart from Ace Ventura, have you? There's got to be some. Probably in the big cities. It's a highly specialized field. I'm sure after this movie, a bunch of people tried to be pet detectives. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> Can't tell you the number of time I, times I've used that line. Not when you parallel park, that's for sure. <laughs> that's so true. Horrible parallel parking. Only I get to say that when I parallel park. Did you have any trouble getting in? No, the guy with the rubber glove was surprisingly gentle. <laughs> We got Snowflake from the Miami Sea Aquarium. He's a rare bottlenose dolphin. This is one of the new tricks he was going to do for the halftime show. Come on, Snowflake! All right. Come on, Snowflake, let's go! What benefit are sunflower seeds if you eat them like that? You get the seed out. No, you just smush the seed with the shell. Well, you can tell he's cracking it so he doesn't smush the seed. There's seed laying all over the... Would you like an ashtray? Mm-mm. I just don't I think don't you know it. how to... Ugh. It's a disgusting yeah. habit. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Pedactor, meet Ace Ventura. He's our pet detective. <laughs> to meet you. Came very highly recommended by Martha Metz. Martha Metz? Oh, yeah, the bitch. What? <laughs> Talk about the dog, not the lady. <laughs> if I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's log, start eight, 23.9. People have been wanting us to react to Star Trek, so here we go. Hey, right, yeah. Well, they'll step into the Trekkie world. I got to miss her! For God's sakes, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a fool, man! <laughs> Pretty 
pretty sure that's the Beverly Hills Police Department. South Dade Police Department. It kind of looks like the Beverly Hills Police Department. No. Massey must be missing. Yeah, yeah. I love how he walks with this neck. Uh oh. Homicide, Ventura. No, how are you gonna solve that one? <laughs> First, I'd establish a motive. In this case, the killer saw the size of the bug's dick and became insanely jealous. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> this is not the time, Mace. If I don't want to come down here and see me talking to you or your ass, I'm history. It's funky cold Medina. Mm -hmm. A missing dolphin isn't exactly a high priority. <laughs> <laughs> now you pissed him off. <laughs> Please give me a break, man. I can't hold him much longer. <laughs> My boss is coming, man. Okay, okay, look. Thank you for all your cooperation. By the way, do you have a mint? <laughs> I love talking out of my ass. You do it a lot, so. <laughs> Sodomia. <laughs> Listen, pet dick. Pet dick. Yeah, that's not a endearing name. Sure is. <laughs> not the way she said it, but. <laughs> you like the mosh pit? Never been. Never remember that. White? I've never had red New England clam chowder. Manhattan you? clam chowder is red. That's not New England clam chowder. Correct. That's why he asked, is it the red one or the white one? No. That, my friend, is the face of the enemy. Always trying to get his greedy little hands on endangered species. Ronald Campus connected with the dolphins? Yeah, that sub genius gave him the land the new stadium's built on. And look at this. He's throwing another I'm the richest man in the universe party. I wonder what operating system he's using. <laughs> Something pretty robust for very quick. DOS based. He's gotta at least have a T one internet connection in that thing too. I swear if you do anything to embarrass me in front of camp. What? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Permission to come aboard, sir. <laughs> Why is he dressed like a fishing captain? Don't know. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Camp. And congratulations on all your success. You smell terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, one of the first lessons we learned back at Stanford Law was the modern proliferation of food poisoning claims against wealthy private homeowners. In fact, if one were so inclined, one could make quite a lucrative law practice with little else. <laughs> 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 How is everybody feeling tonight? Oh, look, honey, there's the hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Not threatening at all. Excuse me, Ron. I uh, need to use the bathroom. I think it's the bad day. Sure, it's over there. Stuff probably looks better on the way out, huh? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Do that all the time. Yeah. Pretend I'm hanging 
Off a cliff. Pretend you're Spider-Man or something. Sometimes I still do it. When no one's watching? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everybody loves playing the forest lava, so... It's true. Here, Snowflake. I've got a little snack for you. It's not Snowflake. <laughs> it's not Snowflake. Do not go in there. Woo! <laughs> Never saw Mr. Ace. I have the plumbing checked immediately. Be sure that you do. If I'd been drinking out of the toilet, I might have been killed. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm sorry, Ron. What is Ace, what are... Let's go! Ace. Stop it! He got away from the shark with just superficial pant wounds. Yeah, lucky. The 1984 Dolphin AFC Championship ring. I find the ring with the missing stone. I find Snowflake. How are you going to do that? Simple. <gasps> Track down all the former players. Remember any members of the 1984 Dolphins other than Dan Marino? No. Do you? Not really. No. It was before I was born. That was like the year I was born. Man, yeah, another kicker. Ray Finkel. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. I've gone to his football camp. We feed your dog. Oh. Dog food. Why? He is miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I feel sorry for him. Bad diet, isolated environment. It's amazing he's still alive. A little Canadian come out there. I feel sorry for him. And you don't know how to express your anger. Yeah, and you're ugly. <laughs> Would you please leave? Why? So you can beat him? Fatty. She was only fat in high school. <laughs> Wait, no, that's for friends. Yeah. I'm here at the North Beach Towers, a luxury condo complex in North Miami. Where Roger Pedactor, head of operations for the Miami Dolphins, has apparently committed suicide, allegedly leaping to his death from his own 20th story balcony. He looked really good for falling 20 stories. He probably bounced a little bit. So, animals can sense evil. You don't think this is an obvious suicide, Mr. Pet Detective? There's plenty of evidence here to support your theory. Except, of course, for that spot of blood on the railing over there. Which you just touched. She said she heard a scream. Is that right, ma'am? Right. And you said you had to open the balcony door when you keyed into the room? Yeah, that's true. You're certain you had to open this door? Yeah, I'm certain. Sure. What's the point, Ventura? <laughs> the scream she heard came from inside this apartment before he was thrown over the balcony and the murderer closed the door before he left. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Can you feel that? Buddy, huh? 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 <laughs> I have exercised the demons. <laughs> this house is clear. <laughs> I understand the quote now that we've seen Poltergeist. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I always just thought it was a funny thing he said. Uh, nope. No, it's a movie quote. You really love animals, don't you? 
If it gets cold enough. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I had this dream that I was being followed by a big dog with rabies. And just before I got to my front door, he jumped and sank his teeth in. That's when I woke up and felt the back of my neck. Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> that? Who the hell is that? That's Ray Finkel, the kicker. He's the guy who missed the final field goal in the Super Bowl that year. Cost the Dolphins the game. You shouldn't be left alone right now. It might not be safe at your apartment. What do you suggest? Sorry, that's never happened to me before. I must be tired. <laughs> okay, I'm ready again. <laughs> Surprised they weren't doing a doggy style. <laughs> Does seem like it'd be more more his flavor, huh? Mm. Ray Stinkle. That's brutal. Are you another one of them hard copy guys? No, sir. I'm just a very big Finkel fan. He wasn't an actual player. Oh, I was looking him up. <laughs> no, the kicker that year for the Dolphins is actually a German player. I can't wait to meet him. Ray ain't coming home. See, the engine's running, but uh, there's nobody behind the wheel. <laughs> It was all that Dan Marino's fault. Everyone knows that. If he had held the ball laces out like he's supposed to, Dan Marino should die of gonorrhea and rot in hell. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what do you know? They're little footballs. <laughs> laces out. We should make football cookies tomorrow. Yeah, for the Super Bowl. Yeah. What a sports nut, huh? Yeah. What a sports nut. <laughs> oh, God. I'm pretty sure she's the librarian from Ghostbusters that sees the ghost at the very beginning. Could be. So I take care of the hands that take care of me. <laughs> With lights of toner glow. Cut. Again from the top. I said cut. <laughs> what is this, a rewrite? Shut up! So you should always check the names on the back of the jerseys to make sure you got the right players. Yeah. Come on. Can you hit me? Good thing he's got strong horse teeth, huh? Yeah. I think Jim Carrey's got fake teeth in the front. Probably. Because that chip in Dumb and Dumber was real. Lieutenant, have there been any ransom demands? There's been no communication with the kidnappers at this time. Hey, dude. I, I, want, I want a snowman. Is he in your bed? Mm-mm. Did you lose him? No. Where is he at? Um, I don't know. Pretty sure he's just in your bed. I'll come help you find him. How about that? I'm gonna look for him. I'm pretty sure if a quarterback for a Super Bowl playing team was kidnapped the week before the game, they'd probably postpone it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. When I get out of that bathroom, you better be gone. Is it number one or number two? <laughs> I found a rare stone at the bottom of Snowflake's tank. Do you know there's a clue right now? No. Look at the... Yeah. Oh, Apple and the apple apples and, and banana. banana. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
Maybe I was wrong about you. Maybe you are more than just a pet dick. Your gun is digging into my hip. What's wrong, Ace? Want me to win you your rights? <sighs> Maybe later. <laughs> no, you just don't do anything for me. <laughs> Down, boy! Ace, what are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. You have to commit me. This is my favorite part. This is? <laughs> yeah. Now, who is it that you'd like us to have a look at? My brother, Larry. It's Tony's lawyer. <laughs> I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. <laughs> I'm going to execute a button hook pattern super slow mo. <laughs> Let's see that in an instant replay. <laughs> I am a yummy day, game and I like my day. I, you don't think you're a day? Oh, God. Do you think that was in the script or you just. Probably parts of it. Probably not the reverse. <laughs> but I think your brother will fit in nicely here. Over here! And this is the storage room. And down the hallway here, we have another. <laughs> He'll be fine there by himself for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> is his face okay? The reaction of the doctor. When his back is turned to the camera, I think you can like almost see him laugh. <laughs> like you could his like, his body kind of like jolts forward, like he's laughing. Love that he shoved himself in that box. A massive search ended today when rescue workers were unable to find the body of Lois Einhorn. Lois Einhorn. Holy shit balls. The perfect identity. Theft. Somebody missing. Not recorded dead yet. Come on. Think! Finkel and Einhorn in it together. How? Why? Finkel Einhorn. Finkel Einhorn. <laughs> Finkel and Einhorn. 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 What the? That's it. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is a man! Oh my god! Einhorn is a man! Oh god. No! No! A little dramatic. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> It's fucking big red too. Ugh. Mm. Also, that'd be so freaking spicy. Like that many cinnamon sticks. Nah, they all blend together at that point. Oh, so much gum. Gum is digging into my hip. Oh, <laughs> 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 so gross. Does it seem as 
as if we've met someplace before. I, I don't know. I get hit in the head a lot. <laughs> Nice kick. Well done. <laughs> Check it out, Marino. I'm throwing passes to a dolphin. <laughs> what was the motive for stealing the dolphin? Just to demoralize the dolphins? I guess. Because they gave the dolphin Finkel's number Um, and let him kick field goals as like a... A joke. Yeah. So it's probably just like a fuck you guys. I'm stealing this stupid ass dolphin. Guess what, boys? It's nap time. Oh, what a bet. Did Herschel Walker ever take a hit on that? Heads up! Hi, Jan. Get the harness. <laughs> it's Lieutenant Einhorn. Send some men over to the Hollandale Yacht Basin on Victoria Road. I've got the kidnapper trapped in the warehouse. It's Ace Ventura, pet detective. Don't worry. There's one thing I know. There's nothing Ace can't handle. The crazy thing about this is the Dolphins made the Super Bowl when they're hosting it. That is crazy. Yeah. That's it's hard to do. Never been a more crucial kick in a Super Bowl than the famous kick heard around the world. I mean, it's clear to me that it was a good hold. Finkel just booted it. The lasers were in. They were in. Noogie's hurt. They do. Don't shoot! Put your guns down or this cop gets it. I mean it! She's not joking! He kidnapped Snowflake! He killed Roger Badger! <laughs> now, Ray Finkel lost his mind, was committed to a mental hospital only to escape and join the police force under the assumed identity of a missing hiker, manipulating his way to the top in a diabolical scheme to get even with Dan Marino, whom he blamed for the entire thing. <laughs> Would a real woman... Have to wear one of these? Ah! 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 <laughs> Boy, that's really on there. <laughs> Would a real woman be missing these? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of surgery can be done over the weekend. But I doubt very much if he could find the time to get rid of. Big ol' Mr. Kanish! <laughs> Ace, come here. <laughs> My esteemed colleague, Mr. Marino, has just brought some new evidence to my attention. Now, <laughs> she is suffering from the worst case of hemorrhoids I have ever seen! <laughs> That's why Roger Pedactor is dead! He found Captain Winky! <laughs> a lot of people think Tom Brady was the first victim of the tuck rule. It was Ray Finkel. Die, animal boy! Quick decision. Hey, loser! <laughs> You're a weird guy, Ace! (laughs) (laughs) She's like, what the fuck is happening here? (laughs) Idiot! What? You just cost me 25 grand. Yeah? Blow me. (laughs) Really? Dare you impersonate an actual animal? Would now like to offer a special thank you to the man who rescued 
Dan Marino and our beloved... That's exactly what Mahomes did to the Eagles. <laughs> I'm just... I always remember the dolphin talking scene. Yeah, they I, must have a, cut it I from it's this. It's a deleted scene. And that's no, why we remember it. No, I, I've definitely I, I like seen I've, it in, in, a, the mo- in a movie. It like, must have been like the unrated, like... In a movie version DVD of this. Cut of it. It's in... It was on the VHS for sure, because hmm. that would be what I watched all the time. Yeah. I watched that VHS as a kid over and over and over again. Yeah. And, I, oh, you know, we have it in the back. We could probably watch it. Yeah check but yeah that was my favorite part and they cut it oh, so so depressing yeah i was just reading it's like where is that scene it's everybody in, it's, remembers it it's in the scene where he's in the it fish, must have been put back in tank. for the because he hops out of the fish tank with all the Why reporters on this blu-ray and cut? they're like where's snowflake and he's like do you know him do you call him at home do it's you have a this, door sophie not in this blu-ray cut there's also not even deleted scenes on this oh, so unfortunate we should have watched the VHS version. Yeah, well. Dang, they cut my favorite part. That was high resolution. <laughs> Dang it. They cut that scene, the director did, because he felt like it slowed down the pace of the movie. It didn't, it didn't. at all. It, it's a 30 second scene. Yeah. It was fine yeah. to be left in. Exactly. This movie's kind of short, actually. Yeah, it's only it, like an hour and 25 minutes. It could have gone for an extra 30 seconds. Yeah. The VHS knew that. Yeah. Fucking mistake. All right. Well, that's Ace Ventura. Yeah. Ray Finkel is not a real kicker. I looked it up. Right. I could have told you that before you looked it up. But watching this reminds me that I think Jim Carrey's probably a polarizing care like actor. Why? Because he's just got a very unique style, yeah. right? I mean, he's just a very, very unique physical. personality. Yeah. I mean, his facial expressions are over the top. I mean, that's what he got f- famous for. Early on, yeah. his career was doing stand up and doing his impressions with his facial. Oh, uh, well, facial it was stuff. what was the show called that you loved? In Living Color. In Living Color. That yeah. was that's um, what he was. Fire like, Marshall Bill. Really famous for, right? But yeah, he used to do like facial impressions of like Clint Eastwood and all that stuff. Yeah. And he used a lot of that in this. Mm-hmm. I think it hit maybe hits more as a as a kid. Oh yeah. All of the. Well, yeah. They, I mean, after the, I think after the sequel, they came up with a cartoon that lasted a couple seasons. Oh really. Yeah, you never watched remember the Ace Ventura cartoon? Mm-mm. He also had a mask cartoon. So there was a lot of spin offs of Jim Carrey movies into cartoons. Yeah, the over the top personality definitely, I think, suits a. Pet detective? A teenager's personality type, but a teenager's <laughs> sense of humor a little bit more. Yeah. I still think it's a hilarious movie. It is. Yeah. It's a classic. Yeah. Probably not his greatest comedy, though. Maybe not. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Which it's hard to be dumb and dumb. On your list that you gave me for your. I've seen it recently, I think. Uh, so. Okay. Just didn't want to. That's my favorite Jim Carrey movie. Plus, that seems like a good winter movie. A little comedy, at least. Yeah. Dumb and Dumber is a good winter movie? Like, because they go to Aspen? Yeah. Okay. Isn't it winter <laughs> in February? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> what an idiot! Oh, what a loser! <laughs> I guess I'm missing your logic so. here. I don't know. Middle of winter. We don't want to watch a winter movie. What are some other Jim Carrey movies you like? Do you like the sequel? When Nature yeah, Calls? I do like When Nature Calls. Again, it has some super funny parts. I don't like it as much as this one, but yeah, it's it's over, It's even more over the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they go way over the top in that one. Um, Liar Liar. I like that one. What other ones do you like? Um, Cable Guy. Yeah, I'm not a huge Cable Guy fan. It's one of those movies that a lot of people didn't like, but I feel like if you watch it more, you, you learn to love it. Yeah. One of my it's favorite really Jim Carrey ones is The Majestic. The Majestic? Yeah, yeah that's a tearjerker. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. That and The Tr- Truman Show are great. The Truman Show, yeah. More serious roles from him. And then Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is my all-time favorite Jim Carrey yes. movie. It, that's in like my top ten movies of all time. So. Mm-hmm. But that's not a... He, plays i think kate winslet plays more of a jim carrey like character yeah than he does in that that's where he shows his acting cred yeah well what are you guys' favorite lines from this movie yeah. i mean there's so many quotable moments what's your favorite line um well the do you have a dorsal fin they cut that one out of this <laughs> version so yeah darn it uh, like a glove like, like a, a glove, glove. 
Yummy. I use that a lot. Yeah. And like a glove because I land the parking jobs all the time. Like that last time. Remember when you were impressed with my parallel parking skills? Yeah, you did say like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> They're life, lifelong quotable moments, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, I always say like a glove when you curb it, too. Yeah. Oh, it's funny. Because that's more fitting. To so tell us your favorite lines and your favorite favorite Jim Carrey movie. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe there's some that we haven't seen. Yeah. Let us know. I'm pretty sure I've seen every Jim Carrey movie. Except for maybe some of the recent ones. I'm not certain. So. Okay. Well, let us know. Oh, Man on the Moon. Man on the Moon. I've seen that. Have yeah. you not seen Man on no, the Moon? No, no, no. I know. That's so good, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He does Andy such Coffin. a good job. Yeah. So. Anyways, thanks for hanging out for Ace Ventura. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe if you didn't already. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, one commentary, access to pulls up as big watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time. Alrighty then. Bye.